During this screencast, we'll be discussing DART, the Developmental and Reproductive Toxicology Database. You can access DART by going to the ToxNet homepage and clicking on the DART link. DART is a collection of over 200,000 references covering teratology, the study of congenital abnormalities and abnormal formations, and other aspects of developmental and reproductive toxicology. DART is essentially a topic-specific subset of PubMed and Medline. The search used to pull content from PubMed and Medline into DART can be found in the support box on the left side of the page by clicking on the DART search strategy link. DART includes references from as far back as 1900, and new content is added weekly. Let's enter lead into the DART search box. Even with a specialized database such as DART, a very general search like this one brings back over 11,000 results. If we want to see exactly how DART executed the search, we can click on the Search Details option on the left side of the page. Here we can see that the database identified the word lead as a chemical, and automatically included in the search the Chemical Abstract Services, or CAS, registry number, as well as the word for lead in other languages, and the term lead flake. If you don't want DART to add in these synonyms or the CAS registry number, you can deselect the Include Synonyms and CAS Numbers in Search button. We'll leave this box checked because we do want the CAS registry number and the synonyms in our search but we haven't solved the problem of our very large results set. As we learned in the tutorial on Toxline and the perchloroethylene module, one of the easiest ways to focus a search is to add in an additional term. Let's limit our results to articles that discuss embryonic exposure to lead. I'm going to enter lead and embryo with the asterisk at the end of the word embryo. In most databases, the asterisk allows you to truncate a search term and will bring back all variations on that term after where the asterisk is placed. This search will bring back results that use the word embryo, as well as the word embryos, and the word embryonic. The asterisk doesn't have to go at the end of a full word. You want to place it where the word starts to change. Let's say we're doing a search and want to include the word nurse, nurses, and nursing. Where would the asterisk go to include all those terms? After the S. N-U-R-S asterisk. Let's take a look at our search results in DART. We've narrowed our results down from over 11,000. The default display for search results is by relevance, so you're seeing articles that are highly relevant to your search terms in as much as the DART database understands those terms. If you want to change how your results are sorted, you can use the Sort By drop-down menu and select Year of Publication, Title, Author, or Entry Month. Under the Add to My List column, you have the option to select records. This allows you to temporarily add a record to my list. Let's select the first three results. These items have been added to my list. We could now continue reviewing our search results or revise our search knowing that we'll be able to easily come back to those selected citations. Once you're ready to review the articles in My List, you can access it in the upper left side of the screen. Clicking on My List brings up another window, and now we can select a record. Once we do, we can view related records, download or print the record, or get a permalink, a stable permanent URL that will bring you or someone you send the URL to back to this record. 